Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tie and Gig Build. Build. This week, I will be setting up a Raspberry Pi beginner style. Builds. Never played with the Raspberry Pi before. I'm a novice. So he gave me a quick, easy list. He said, install the Raspberry Pi, connector to Wi-Fi, enable SSH. We got username as Pi and Raspberry as password. Seems simple enough. And set static IP address of this number. I'm brand new to the Pi that we got right here. Seems like pretty beginner steps, but we'll see how difficult this ends up being. Got the keyboard, mouse, micro SD, and this little guy here so I can plug it into USB. So, step one, install Raspberry OS. I'm assuming we gotta install the operating system onto the micro SD and then shove it in here. How we do that, <laughs> we will see, he's got a lot of Pi stuff on here. We'll see if he has like a Pi operating system file on his computer already maybe. Are we gonna get lucky there? All I see is, I see Raspberry Pi Imager here. Um, gonna open it up and see what we got. Operating system. This is like the best, this is like back to basics. This must be so, this must be so basic for you. Just like, <laughs> okay. It's like starting up a video game. It's like press X to, ch to download operating system. Uh, choose SD card. Let's just choose an operating system. Oh, I'm just gonna go with the first one. It says recommended. We're not, we're not gonna go with any, we're not gonna toy around here with anything. Okay. All existing data. You, you all right if I erase this data? <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I took a few class, I took like a few tech courses in college. I haven't really done it since then, but as long as this goes well, guys, as long as this writes, Nothing goes wrong, we might be able to attempt to connect the Wi-Fi after this. <laughs> All right, we got the operating system written to USB. Take this out. And let's put it in the Pi. Why not? Let's stick it in. How are we looking? It's a little guy. So, so far, guys, no problem. Okay, looks like we're in. Okay, connect. we gotta get this connected to this TV here. Let's start plugging stuff in. We got the keyboard. They make it easy for you. They just put the USB slots right on the back. So there's really no other option to plug it in. Um, does this have a, this is already hooked up, okay. They got every plug on this box. Okay, we got the power cord, Pi power cord. TV plugged in, all right guys, no big deal. It's plug and play at this point. It's crazy that this, this, this is a computer. Remember back in the old days, Windows 98. See, the TV is actually harder than the Pi so far. Am it's I on a, You keep calling it a TV, it's a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see color. Okay. Wastebasket. That's cool. Instead of trash can, they got the wastebasket. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Before we start using it, a few things we got to set up. Okay. User Pi uh, account has the password Raspberry. Strongly recommend that you change this to. Okay. So I'm assuming this is going to be a different password. It's saying to make the password raspberry here here it's saying don't use raspberry <laughs> <laughs> so it's saying the password standards raspberry um i guess this is just a pie this is just a password to use the pie so um i'm just gonna do something i can remember here i'm gonna need this one i'm just gonna do something easy 
searching for networks. Now we're moving in the right direction here. We got to connect it to Wi-Fi. Where is it? <laughs> I'm looking for the Wi-Fi. There we go. Greg's magic land. We're going to click that. We're going to hit next. I know the password. I guess I am going to keep it secret. We don't want too many people on the Wi-Fi because you, you saw the other, the video where Tyler set the pie up for the back. We already have enough people sharing the Wi-Fi. Okay. Update software. I'm going to, I'm going to skip this. It says it might involve a large download. I am skipping that setup complete. Okay. Easy, couple of easy steps done. They're getting more intense now, folks. Enable SSH, Pi is username and Raspberry is password. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pull up Google Chrome, get a Google Assist. I'm gonna search enable SSH. Secure shell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the secure shell. Okay, all right. Launch Pi configuration from preferences. Go to interfaces, select them, we'll go to SSH. This is telling me info about the IP address too, so we'll need, we'll need to take in some of this info here. Preferences, config, interfaces, SSH, enable. I'm just like, that's right folks, enable. <laughs> The, base, the, the instructions are all here. It's basic stuff. Cool. All right, now, but I need to set the username and password for this SSH. Maybe I should have. Maybe I was supposed to have that password. <laughs> Maybe it was a fake out. I was, I was thinking it might have been a fake out because it's, it's the standard pattern. They're like, nah, nah, don't do it as Raspberry. Too easy. Um, I'll go back. I'll change that later. Maybe the ultimate goal is to get the static IP set up. Okay. So you can access the command line of a Pi remotely from another computer or device working on the same SSH. Okay. So I don't go downloading any malware. We're, Tyler just gave me a little hint <laughs> onto what, <laughs> onto what, uh, what system I'm going to, what, what, app I'm going to use here to, uh, to connect via SSH secure shell. So it's a sick name, you know, but they give them the cool names, like the, like the hotspots secure shell. So he sh he said gig, pull up empty putty and <laughs> see if, see if we can get this set up here. Okay. First, I actually need the IP address off the pie, I believe. So, uh, let's go search for it, right? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Google. It's a shortcut. I'm going to just do check Raspberry Pi IP. Oh, host name. Duh, guys. Guys, <laughs> it's really when you when you get down to the bottom of it, it's not that difficult. All right, here we go. Host name. It's not like your typical computer that walks the dummies through it. You got to actually like look through it. Host name I. Let's see if this works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Command not found. Okay. Okay. Space I. There we go. We're getting, we got something out of it. We got 10.00.120. We got to change that to 150. So we got to crack the code, hack in here, change that to, to a different number here that he's got me listed here. Server name. I'm going to assume. We want to put that in here. Let's not, let's not mistype here. SSH, no big deal. Port. I don't know. 
<laughs> port 22, that's right, port 22. He gave me a, li a little bit of an assist here because guys, I'm gonna be here all night. I think we're gonna try to log in here. Oh my God, security breach. <laughs> <laughs> The service host key does not match the one Putty has cached in the registry. This means the server has changed the host key. That's me, baby. I'm the host now. All right. Am I in? Access denied. Okay, I gotta uh, type the, my password in here. I remember when you said I should have put it to Raspberry, but I didn't. Yep. I remember it, guys. Is it gonna bite me in the ass? It's the other password, okay. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, it's the original password that I put in. We're good. I think we're in. Access permitted. You're close. I'm getting kind of close here. Now we gotta set this IP, we gotta change this IP address. Assign a static IP address to a Raspberry Pi with DHCPCD. Do we have that? Guys, I think we might be getting onto something here. It says, assign a static private IP address to Raspberry Pi. Okay, DHCP client. I want to give you. I'll give you a hint. Okay. I think we can maybe do this. The the there is another Raspberry Pi you can connect to right now that already has a static IP, so you can look at that config and then copy it over if that's easier. What I'm doing is I'm I'm taking some code from another Pi he already has set up previously, and I'm going to try and find the code I need from that Pi, copy and paste it, and just adjust the. IP address within that code, I believe. Does it work? We hope. We hope it works. Here we go, okay. Okay, I need to use the, the keys a little bit. We got a little bit of code here. Interface, static IP address, da da da. I wanna do static IP address equals, so I guess I could just take this. The old control right click, copy. We'll open up 1020. Okay, pseudo nano. See if I can get the spacing right here. All right, let's reboot. <clears throat> Secure shell, baby. Server name's gonna be, I don't know, this number you gave me. Let's do it. 1050, I got, I, got, I got it here, we're logging in as pi. Password. Okay, I think we're in. Network error. All right guys, really no big deal here. Little assistance from Tyler, came to about two hours. Would have definitely been an extra hour or two by myself with some of the more tedious stuff, but not too bad overall. Not too bad. I'm pretty much a total novice to the Pi and was able to get this done in a few hours. So uh, definitely cool for the beginners and definitely a way to get your feet wet and get started, baby. Builds. Boom, guys, there it is. Beginner. I was able to crack the code. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We really appreciate the support and stay tuned next week because we do have a build coming. That's right, and it's late night style. With gig. Builds.